So here is the GT Cut 3, and these are my thoughts. So the first big difference is they implemented a Zoom X foam that is full length on the shoe as the cushioning setup. Uh, there's, there's good and bad to this, which I'll get to. The GT Cut 2 had a full length Zoom strobel as well as a React drop-in insole. So they completely revamped this um, moving forward. So what I would say about the, the Zoom X is in the heel, you don't feel it at all. I could feel the concrete every time I would heel strike, which I did not like. It would uh, vibrate up into my heel bone and I just, I personally prefer more, more of a cushion setup. So I didn't like that in the heel. Now in the forefoot, I didn't feel the ground at all, even though I, I don't really feel the Zoom X either, which to me is a good thing because it means it's doing its job still because I am getting the cushion, the impact protection, being on the ball, balls of my feet because I couldn't feel the ground, but there's just no sensation the way you get when you are using Zoom Air, especially the Zoom Strobe where you can you can kind of feel the bounce as you put your weight down you don't get that as much with the zoom x but i still never felt any strikes or any pain in the balls of my feet so the cushion is there so i do like this setup in the forefoot uh, i just don't prefer it in the heel you also have this not only do you have the outrigger built into um, the foam of the shoes you can see here but the rubber actually wraps up and creates this wing containment, which I really liked. So when you are cutting, moving um, sideways, moving laterally, this thing grabs your foot and bites and you stop immediately. I didn't feel any sensations of tipping this way at all. It just bites and you stop. So I think they did a good job of implementing uh, this, this rubber wing as well as the width of the forefoot outsole. You also don't feel any pinching from this either. I know sometimes when they'll use plastic ones, it can dig into people's um, toes or the side of the feet and cause discomfort. I didn't even notice it at all. So you don't feel it as well, which is also a big bonus. The three, another improvement they made from the two is the padding on the tongue. So when I cinch these down, I don't feel anything. There's more than enough padding and it actually wraps up your foot. Almost like if you could imagine this was my foot. The tongue wraps up uh, well past, as you can see here. Um, so you get no discomfort. There's no pinching, nothing digging into your bone. You can really tie the laces down and there's no problem. The two was uh, the exact opposite story. I, I thought the traction was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't it wasn't anything amazing. I didn't think it it had that much bite to it. It is sort of this um, sort of a herringbone pattern. It's shaped like lightning bolts. Um, it, it it stopped fine, but I don't know. I didn't feel much of a bite, so I would just say it's average. The traction's average, which is interesting because this shoe is supposed to be designed for cutting. I guess you do get a lot of that with this, where you can move side to side, but uh, the traction was just okay. It wasn't anything that stood out to me about it. Overall though, I, I do like this shoe better than the two. I prefer the two's cushion setup, but the rest of the build on this shoe, I, I think is much better. It's much improved. It does fit a little bit long. I wore a 10 and a half in the twos and that one fit fine. I don't know if it's because it has a thicker, the thicker drop in insole from the React. This is also a 10 and a half and there's a lot of dead space in the toe box. I could have got a 10, no problem. So the sizing is a little bit different on this one from the, the GT Cut 2. So I would also um, think about that if you're gonna buy it. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the GT Cut 3.